I'm Becca with The Happy Ever Crafter, and today I'm gonna to show you step-by-step -step how you can create a super cute, easy, custom holiday envelope that looks like this. And I'm actually also gonna be telling you how you can get your hands on some freebie envelope addressing templates that look like this, and how exactly to use them on envelopes to create your work. So I hope you enjoy this video, let's jump right in. So first things first, let's go over the tools I'll be using in this video. I have a craft paper envelope here. I just like the way that the colors turn out on this color of paper, but if you only have white envelopes or another color, that's totally fine too. Then I have a Posca paint pen. This is what I'm gonna use for some detailing and I find it's kind of the brightest white option. If you don't have a Posca pen, you can also use a Uniball Sino gel pen. Both of these are really great, but I'm gonna be using this Posca. And this one is the size zero 0.7 millimeters and so if you look at the tip it's bullet shaped they make this in a bullet shape and a pin shape so if you have the choice and you can I always recommend the bullet shape I just find it works a little bit better and I'm gonna be using a Tombow Fudano Suke brush pen it doesn't have to be the Tombow brush pen but any brush pen since we're gonna be doing calligraphy on this envelope so this is just a small tip black brush pen then I'll be using a light blue Tombow dual tip brush pen same thing with this one it doesn't have to be Tombow brand and this one actually doesn't really even have to be a brush pen this is just gonna be for some decorations. As long as it's a light blue-ish color and you can use it on your envelope, then it'll be totally fine. I have a micron pen. This is size one. It's pretty small on the tip. Same thing, it doesn't have to be this micron pen. It can be any fine liner black pen. And then lastly, if you're a beginner and you aren't totally comfortable just writing directly on your envelope, you might also want a pencil. This is my favorite pencil. It's Palomino Blackwing. And again, all of these links will be in the description below. You can really tell how much I like this one because it's almost all used up and then the last thing you're gonna need or maybe not if you are very comfortable with writing on envelopes already but on my website and in the link below this video you'll have a link directly to it is I made some templates for envelope addressing so these give you the size of the envelope that you're looking for I have two different sizes here and then you just go ahead and cut out the areas in the middle so that you can use them to write on your envelope what I did is I printed those out onto prettier cardstock paper and so now they're a little bit thicker and these are what you use to just put right over top of your envelope and then you have a guideline to make them centered and make them the exact same size on every envelope you do. So those are on my website. Again, the link is below. And so I suggest if you haven't gotten those yet to just pause the video, go print those out and then cut out the middle sections where you're gonna be writing and just have them ready before we carry on. Right off the bat, I just wanna mention that my envelope is actually a little bit smaller than an A1 envelope. It's just a random one that I had kicking around. It doesn't actually fit perfectly with this template that I made but if you have a perfect a1 envelope you can actually just line up the corners right with your envelope and it'll center it for you but otherwise you can just kind of place it wherever you want it to go on the envelope so I'm gonna place this down and I'm actually gonna start with my pencil and the reason for that is that I'm gonna try and center this address which can be a little bit tricky so on the middle of this template you'll notice a center line and that can give you a guideline but it can still be a little bit tough sometimes to center an address so I'm gonna do it with a pencil first and I suggest you do that too unless you're really really comfortable with centering addresses. I just have a fake address pulled up here on my computer and I'm gonna write the address before I write the name and you'll see why later. So I'm just gonna practice going ahead and writing this in pencil first. And so you just use these guidelines as the top and bottom line of your address. So I've got my address written out. I'm gonna now take my Micron pen in size one and just go over those letters. Perfect. So now we have the address written out and I'm gonna go back and add the person's first name. There are a couple different ways you can do this. You can put your template back onto your envelope and you'll notice that I've left a line at the top for the name. This is actually a little bit bigger, that space, than the ones below it because we're gonna do calligraphy for the name. You can either use this space and just write in your lowercase letters because of course the uppercase letters are gonna come above and below that or you can actually just draw in the bottom line which is what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna do this with a pencil really really lightly and 
then take it off and just use it this way. If you wanted to do it the original way where you are actually still using this template, what you wanna do is just write in the lowercase letters. But the problem is if you have a bouncy style, you won't be able to go above and below these guidelines. That's why I am gonna just use this straight line. The fake name for this envelope is Bonnie Kraus. And so I'm gonna write that out in pencil first. And again, if you feel like you need the upper guideline as well, you can draw that in. It's totally up to you. Now I've noticed that that is still not perfectly centered. So I'm actually gonna erase that again. It's up to you. If you're not a perfectionist, you don't necessarily have to do this, or you could even add a flourish on this side and make it a little bit longer. I'm going to erase only the first name and move it over a little bit. There we go. So now I've got my address written out and my name in pencil, and I'm gonna take my Tombow brush pen and write that out in the brush pen. And I actually like the look of making these downstrokes a little bit thicker because this is a hard tip brush pen. It doesn't make them too, too thick. And so I just actually sometimes go back and add a little more thickness here just to make it pop a little more. So we've got the whole address written out. Now I'm gonna show you a couple different ways you can stylize this envelope to be a little more Christmassy. First thing I'm gonna do is grab my blue Tombow marker or whatever marker you're using and draw some different sized circles. You want them to be randomly placed. The more random, the better it's gonna look. And you don't need to do too, too many. But another thing to keep in mind is that generally uneven numbers work best. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Maybe I'll add one more. I'm gonna leave those for now and I know they look very faint, but that is the point. Then I'm gonna take my micron pen again and I'm gonna just write, please deliver to up here, which I like on Christmas envelopes. I just think it makes a little, it a little bit more festive. I'll do it in my pencil first so that it's semi-centered and you could use your template if you wanted to, but I'm trying to make this a little faster. And then I'll go over it as always with my micron pen. And then I use my micron pen again and I just draw some straight, evenly spaced and evenly length lines along the edge of the envelope. If you are not comfortable drawing straight lines like this, you can always use a ruler. It just depends again how much of a perfectionist you are. I think you might be able to tell that I'm not a super perfectionist when it comes to this kind of stuff. So now you have a little outline. The last thing I'm gonna do is take my white Posca marker and draw in some snowflakes. So on top of these blue circles, now we're gonna draw snowflakes. You start by drawing an X, and then you're gonna draw another X through that one. Just add some little snowflake details. Sometimes when they're really tiny, it's really hard to add details. So you just wanna add little tiny ones. And you don't always have to do an X and an X. It doesn't have to be that many lines. Sometimes you can just do a bigger X and then one line through it. Makes it a little more clean. And you can add as much or as little detail to these snowflakes as you want to. There are a million different ways you can draw snowflakes. And of course, technically they should all be different. It really depends how much time you wanna to devote to doing that. So the blue is very subtle behind each snowflake, but it's just enough to make the white pop a little more and give it a little bit more detail than just drawing these white details onto the page. Generally, I actually like to add a little bit of white detailing to the calligraphy lettering as well. I'm just gonna add some outlines on the outside of these letters. And again, that just kind of makes it pop a little more. And then once all of this is dry, the last step is just to go and gently erase your pencil lines. Usually an eraser that's not on the back of a pencil would work a little better. I just don't have one handy right now. And there you have it, a custom, super simple doodly holiday envelope.
So hopefully you guys find that helpful and I would love to see it if you try it. So make sure to tag me on Instagram or leave a comment below if you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you later.